Hi everyone. So there's a last presentation on ammonia. Now when you speak of ammonia, people are very conscious about the smell of ammonia. Correct? If you pass any toilet, public toilet, you have a typical smell, irritating smell. That is basically ammonia. So urea decomposes and giving ammonia out. So let's look at what are the safety aspects because when you are people when you are very conscious about when they speak a chemical, it is very important to take care of safety of particular process. So what do you think? What is the most important safety aspect? You can just take 10 seconds to think about it. Okay, so what do you think? The first is there are two parts one is hazards and toxicity. Okay, now if you look at the properties of ammonia, it has a very distinct odor. So let's say there's a leak of ammonia somewhere, so somebody can immediately detect that there is something leak. So, you can immediately take an action to arrest the leak and save people from the hazards which is coming from ammonia. It is a potentially toxic gas. Now, ammonia is lethal after 1000 ppm. But, as soon as you even detect a 25 ppm, you will run away from the place. It was very distinct and pungent order so it is a good so unless somebody is unconscious and stays there until a concentration reached to 1000 ppm it won't be toxic but yes it is potentially toxic at high concentration now the best thing is it can easily get absorbed into a water so if there's a water source you can save yourself it causes irritation of a skin CVN, severe corrosion of a sensitive membrane of eyes, nose, throat and lung. Basically, ammonia has a very high affinity towards water. So, it can absorb water. So, it damage the membranes by making them dry, by absorbing a moisture available. Now, in case of fire hazards, Remember, it's 15 to 25 percent, it becomes hazardous, flammable. Then it explodes violently when contacts with halogens and hypochlorite. Make sure that there is no hypochlorite and halogens in vicinity where you are playing with ammonia. Now, what are the precautions to be taken if person is by chance or by mistake something got and he got affected? The first offer should, should be taken away from exposure. It's applicable to all type of hazards or any chemicals. A person has to be removed from a place of danger. Secondly, immediately wash the affected part with surplus of water. As ammonia is a very good solid in water, the ammonia will get dissolved and you are free of ammonia. Obviously, keep a sources of ignition away. If it is more than 15% of the chances that it will catch fire. And you can use dry chemical powder or CO2 if there is a fire. Now let's look when an emergency can occur. Obvious if there is a minor leaks or major spillage. By accident uncontrolled escape of liquid or vapor. By some rupture or uncontrolled escape of liquid vapor due to some major failures or there can be a catastrophic failure of storage tank. We had experience of during my project work we had 50 liters of kg of ammonia into a reboiler and somehow the level gauge gasket it failed and a 50 kg ammonia came out. Uncontrolled escape of ammonia vapors, the liquid getting converted to vapors at low pressure. So fortunately ammonia is a very good solidity in water, 
so with lot of water we can immediately try to control it before it becomes hazardous to any human so these are the facilities required so one of the most important facility when you handling ammonia is there has to be a spray water spray available in the area so if there is any leakage a spray can have a sufficient amount of water sprayed and ammonia will wash away now you can look at the energy trend increasing a capacity but at the same time because with development of process a different catalyst reducing so what we look into in the safety aspect we look basically a hazards and a toxicity so the best point in ammonia is we should have a sufficient water facility available so that any catastrophic failure or uncontrolled escape can be taken care of and you have to make sure that there is no hypochlorite halogens in vicinity or uh, energy source ignition source in in vicinity where you are handling ammonia so that a major accident can be saved thank you so much